Leo, welcome to your summarized annual reading for 2020. And let me tell you, let me warn you. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of twists and turns this coming year. Okay, not a dull moment for Leo, not a dull moment at all. <laughs> um, make what you want out of that. Okay, and you will have plenty of opportunities to do that very thing. Okay, there's going to be some highs, there's going to be some lows, and I saw it. It's kind of like good, bad, bad, good, eh, great. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of up and down and up and down, all right? Um, I do want to caution you. I see a family conflict or a group dynamic where at the beginning of the year, you have ample opportunity to set this straight. Spirit is really coming in and backing you up and showing you something about this. Um, but if you don't get this straightened out by the end of the year, there's going to be a major, major fallout. Okay. And I talk a lot more about this on Vimeo in the in-depth. But, you know, you start out the year on a really positive, enviable note with a star card. Um, might be an Aquarian. The air signs were showing up big for y'all in this reading. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Might be a legal situation for some of you. It all looks very positive, maybe involving contracts or getting some kind of recognition or award. For some of you, this is about your love life and a soulmate, and you might be in soul contract with somebody, and I can see at the foundation, possibly going back and forth with this person throughout this year because you have some kind of... Um, I don't want to totally say unfinished business, but it's almost like there's some, um, yeah, you know, like uh, you need to settle things. You need to continue to work something out with someone. Um, and, you know, if you're single and you are looking for someone new, I can definitely see coming into this year, it's very possible that the stars are aligning to bring you towards someone who you're destined for. You're definitely coming across as a seductress. I can say that. And if you met somebody in January, definitely this would be a star cross lover. Really, really amazing. But be careful because with the overall energy, if you are single, that is likely to remain. Okay, there could be a lot, a lot of prospects this year, a lot of opportunities. But um, like I said, with all the twists and turns in the road, um, you know, there could be coming and going or seeing people clearly or not seeing them clearly. There's some Neptunian stuff going on in your um, astrology as well, where I can see throughout this entire year, you're getting some kind of progression of clearer vision as to what your ideals are and how you are going to manifest them in this reality in a very practical sense. And that can come through some painful you know, reality checks. So it's going to be status quo for some of you. You know, those of you who are single, this is probably going to be a year where you remain single or if you're married, you will remain married. And, you know, if you are in some kind of partnership and it's on the rocks, um, you know, there's a good opportunity that you can heal and restore that connection if you have some getaways, which I kind of saw here in February that, yeah, there's some kind of conflict going on. For some of you, it might be competition with your work, competition, uh, lack of agreement within a family group dynamic. Um, but I see an opportunity, especially if you're partnered and this is some lack of agreement um, in, in a relationship where you could maybe do a little vacation or a weekend getaway and there could be a major healing quality to this where a truth comes out uh, that brings some some healing in February. Really, really good stuff. I, I really like that. Even this is kind of not a positive card, but it's clarified with so much positivity. And I talk more about it on Vimeo. Now, getting into March, I can see, be careful. There might be an imbalance give and take here. But again, somebody might be deceptive or holding, not giving all the information, not being forthcoming about what they're doing. And there could be some criticism about changes, okay? Or uh, the criticism or the lack of fairness, the holding back of information could bring about uh, some division or separation in a relationship. For some of you, this is a family dynamic. Like you could be with a soulmate this year, but 
um, the conflict is not between you and that person, but it's coming outside the relationship. Friends and family who maybe don't agree with who you have united yourself with. I do see by April, you have got some kind of new love or a renewal of love. And uh, for some of you, maybe the birth of a child, fertility. Um, others of you, very creative time with your career. But again, just be careful that you are being grounded, okay? I think there's this is really a highlighted time of, of not seeing things clearly, but spirit is with you. I got a lot of um, oracle advice about the angelic protection you are being given this year to seek the truth and find it with your intuition through divine downloads, okay? Because I think you're trying to manifest some things in this reality, but the perception can be a bit distorted with what's going on with Neptune. Um, and you need to make really grounded decisions. Spirit is helping you to do that. Also might be an earth sign that's helping you to do that with your finances as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do see some resistance here in May uh, in terms of what you are manifesting, maybe with your dating life for some of you. Some of you might be having a clandestine relationship because, again, you're great with this person, but you know your friends and family are not going to agree like, oh, well, if it's a past person, why are you going back to that person? Why did you take them back? You know, that type of thing. Uh, if you are in a partnership, um, maybe being resistant to really um, opening, openly disclosing things with that partner, opening the lines of communication, because I can see it's almost like you're living separate lives. Um, even though you do have an opportunity to really get on the same page with this person, um, you know, you, you, you are maybe not, not really doing that. Okay. Or somebody in the dynamic is not doing that. And again, if you're looking for love and you're dating, um, you are either dating somebody that you're not telling other people about. It's a secret relationship or some of you are just resisting these offers because, you're not interested in the prospects, okay? That's another possibility. You do have, it seems like, a lot of interest in you, um, but either you're resisting them or they're resisting you. There's something going on here where things are not up front, okay? Let's just put it like that. <laughs> By June, though, there's celebration. There's happiness, and man, big time, okay? And I think it has to do with um, mostly friends, maybe like siblings in a family. And I think you're happy about walking away from a relationship where maybe there was, it was a subtle relationship in the past, but this person put you under such a burden and, you, and you're celebrating. You're happy with your friends or siblings like, ugh, you know, I've walked away from that difficulty. With a page of fire, um, you know, you got two pages here where this could be a fire sign or water sign child. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius over here and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces over here. They might simply be someone under 30 or somebody who acts like they're under 30. Uh, it could be a number of things. A lot of times also pages are about fire. So, I mean, I'm sorry, messages, <laughs> uh, communications. Okay, so somebody could be putting some kind of offer out. You might actually be applying for a a, a job uh, during July or getting, um, uh, getting, trying to get into a contract. I just want to caution you though about the way that you are expressing yourself because I can see that you're maybe trying to get a new start, maybe a relationship or the way that you begin things, the way you initiate things and the way that you communicate during those initial phases in a, in a project or in a relationship is some kind of habit or routine that you kind of blow off uh, and you don't think it's that serious, but I can see later on, this might be coming up later where spirits like, uh, no, you do have to take that seriously. You, that's not something you want to treat lightly and blow off. Okay. And again, it's something that's so routine and normal. It's a daily habit. You just, it's a part of who you are and you just think, oh, it's okay. But it's, it's not really the best advice. I think that by November, uh, you're going to be rethinking these habits and these patterns and, yeah, maybe even these cycles that you have been through. Now, with the King of Earth showing up yet again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the tables might have turned between you and an Earth sign, possibly a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
there might be an inconvenient uncomfortable truth that comes in during this month of august and it might be because there's a timing issue off in some respect but i see you stabilizing things holding the fort down by september where in a home and family situation there seems to be harmony the communications are really good you might be getting some kind of acknowledgement recognition in some respect where you know especially with the divine masculine energy possibly aries maybe like an entrepreneur a leadership type of personality is really holding down the fort taking a leadership role and getting some kind of honor and recognition really really positive and then moving on to october with a page of water here like i said could be a water sign child or for some of you you're getting apology an apology or giving it in october and it might have to do with a divine feminine energy possibly a mother figure but definitely getting growth and expansion and leaving some difficult emotions and thoughts behind and so really good opportunity unfortunately to me your your most troublesome month this year appears to be um, November because it's almost like somebody is in some kind of lack or loss um, it might be material okay I, I'm not going to lie to you okay and if it's not um, you know losing something like getting put out of a relationship or put out of a home or a job this is a fear of that okay and for others of you it's more on an emotional level where you're feeling isolated and alone and I can definitely see that uh, you know that's something common during this time of year for a lot of people a lot of people go through those feelings during the holidays for some reason it's showing up for you I think because there's been a fallout and if there hasn't been a fallout um, by now in a relationship it might become a very abundantly clear that a breakup is imminent with this person and you might get a a very surprising shocking truth that comes out like you get a reality check oh my god this is not going to be able to work i can't make this work and it might have to do with the water sign cancer scorpio pisces and not getting a new beginning um, with them this might be somebody that you have had children with from the past um and unfortunately i think whatever this is you getting a reality check that you're going to have to change a pattern uh going way back in your past of relating to people in relationships by december you are recovering you're recuperating i don't think much i don't think it's talking much to people about it you are healing shift your love life in a new direction you're going to make changes to manifest your ideals with marriage family happily ever after shift it into uh, your reality but you're doing so now by the end of this year with a more accurate perception of reality and the practicalities of what it's going to take to manifest these ideals so buckle up leos buckle up and i tell you if you want you know the clarifiers and um you know the oracle advice oh my gosh over on vimeo and i didn't show you the the clarifying cards look a lot of opportunities abundant opportunities self-sufficient okay could be the single person making plans with partnerships to draw near to somebody but again there might be emotional or physical distance because this might be a cycle going round and round and round with possibly a partner from the past but you're going through a lot of changes getting you to your goals um, hang in there and if you want uh, to know more about it you know come check out my readings on Vimeo are generous over an hour long I think yours is like an hour and 25 minutes long so I really price these affordably and take my time with you for those of you who want to go deep and know more until next time I'm wishing you all the best Leo be blessed